I'm here with Michael with American Pest Management. Uh, Michael, tell us a little bit about your company. Well, we're a third generation family business started here in St. Petersburg, Florida in 1983. Um, we've been specialized for multifamily housing our entire existence. So we really understand what you need for management, what the residents expect. We're always here to help the relationship between management and residents and never do anything to hinder it. Awesome. Uh, we've been, like I said, we've been serving since 1983. We closely monitor all of our callbacks. Uh, that's the service requests for apartments. Every single month we get a printout that is the percentage of how many callbacks we have on each property. If there's ever more than 10% callbacks on a property, we send a supervisor out with a technician to just leave no stone unturned, so to speak, and make sure we're getting to the bottom of solving the infestations. Uh, we have management reports that detail the pest control that we do, but they're also like a snapshot of everything we observe that you may need to know in your apartments. We utilize information sheets, any, any service request you would send us to or anything we observe, we have an information sheet for the resident to remain in communication with them, give them a little guidance of things they can do to help the infestation and help our treatment take hold and things they, that we don't want them to do that would harm the treatment. Great, okay. Of course, we're licensed and insured. All of our technicians go through a thorough background check and are thoroughly trained. They do two weeks of on-the-job training, and then once a month we have continued education um, to keep them sharp and update them on any new products or new regulations. All of our guys are gonna be clean cut. We usually wear white shirts with red and blue letters with this logo on it. Um, all the trucks match. They're all gonna be white trucks with red and blue letters, so you're never wondering who's pulling on site and knocking on doors. We've been voted company of the year five times now in the Bay Area Apartment Association. We're very proud of that. We currently service over 75,000 apartments and condos every single month. What that number represents is we're a big enough company to handle any job that you'd send our way with uh, quickly and affordably, but we're still a small business when it comes to customer service. Every account we've ever, I've ever sold can call me directly, and every account the company's ever sold has direct access to everyone in American Pest Management. Um, should they need anything in a hurry or anything like that. So that pretty much covers the history of the company. I'd like to show you a little bit about our extra services we offer aside from the regular service. We have the portable aerosol system cleanouts. That's for extreme roach infestations. Um, it's good for a fat, we can solve, it's good for a fast turnaround um, when you have a vacant that's down because of roaches. We go in there with the aerosol machine, we treat every crack and crevice, we dust every outlet void, um, and then all the cabinets as well. So they, and they can find this on the website because I want to move right into the inspection yep. list for the limited time we have for the viewers. Perfect. So they can find this information, uh, detailed information on the site, and then talk to me real quick about the inspection. This is something that really, I thought, separated you all from the, uh, from the competition. Wonderful, thank you. Um, we'll list the property name, technician doing the work, time in, time out, and the day. Regular service here would read, uh, we treated apartments 1 through 22. We may do the inside with Vendetta gel bait. We'd spray the exteriors with suspend polyzone. Rodent stations, if you do have them, um, generally they'll be on the ends of the building near the air conditioning units. We actually clean them before we rebate them. That's important because although rodents are gross to you and me, they want their food source to be as clean and pristine as possible. So all of our people have a hand broom and when they service it, it's as clean as the day you bought it. Then for the extras, any, any callback requests, we list the apartment number, what we're treating for, we list what type of evidence we see, no evidence, live evidence, or dead evidence, and we'll list whether the resident is home or not home. That way we know if we're able to tell them the information that's on the info sheet, or if we're just leaving the info sheet and hopefully they'll read it. Also for your vacant apartments, we'll do a quick bug-free certification and inspection. Of course, as long as we don't find any bugs, we'll certify it bug-free, otherwise we'll treat accordingly. Um, and even if we don't find any bugs, we're gonna roach-proof the apartment. That way if someone were to move and have, you know, had their stuff in storage and it became roach-infested, um, there's already product in place so the roaches will die before they ever infest the structure. Okay, talk to me about the inspection. So when you come into a unit, let's say, you yep. know, for, our, for our small owners, uh, you yep. know, what is that process like when you walk into a unit, let's say you see one or two issues, maybe maintenance issues or 
Clutter, excessive clutter. Excessive clutter would go under housekeeping if it's affecting a infestation or pest control. Any maintenance issues we're gonna list from a, a dripping wow. faucet to damaged drywall. That's awesome. Um, we're not gonna mention it to the resident unless it's a safety hazard. That way management can prioritize when they address any maintenance issue. Perfect. And uh, no service if somebody won't let us in a unit we'll list it as refused if there's a minor that's home alone we're not going in uh, if there's no adult and then loose dogs it's up to the technician's discretion whether he'll go in with a, he or she will go in with a dog and it's on that note we'll list pets every time we see them whether we've written it down a hundred times or oh, it's the first time we key. saw it that's key um, some properties have said that we've, in cross-referencing that, they've covered the cost of pest control and Absolutely. getting the pet fees. Absolutely. And then the other column, um, that's just anything miscellaneous that we think needs to come to your attention, we're going to list it there, and that happens every time we go inside of a unit. And that's about all. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Michael with American Pest Control. My pleasure. Thank you, Brian.